hi welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to draw and color shapes in microsoft word so if you're ready let's dive right into the video all right so here we are in microsoft word okay so for those of you that don't know what microsoft word is it is um, a word processing software that uh, helps you okay to type and format your documents okay um, it has tons of features tons and tons of features okay ranging from um, you, okay you can type your documents you can um, uh, format your documents you can draw shapes uh, you know save your documents in a couple of extensions all right so for this tutorial i'll be showing you how to draw and color shapes in microsoft word and there's a bonus tip okay so stick around to the end of the video i've got a bonus tip for you all right so without wasting much time let's um, start the process so you are going to now what we have here at the top here is called the menu bar okay that's where, where we have home insert design layout uh, uh, references and so on and so forth okay so um each time you start your microsoft document it would always be at your home all right so you have a blank document here and then your menu tab would always be set at the home now to draw shapes okay whatever shape you want to draw okay you always come to your insert tab all right you come to your insert tab let me do it once again i said um whenever you create a new document your your menu tab would always be set at home okay now if you want to draw shapes all right you come to your insert tab on the menu bar here and then you locate shapes so under your insert tab there's uh, a sub menu called shapes okay so when you when you move your cursor to the sub menu here you see what it says draw a shape insert ready-made shapes such as circles squares and so on all right so you click the shape tab and then you see you you have tons of shapes here okay ranging from um, rectangles to triangles to arrows e um, equations mathematical uh, formulas flowcharts callouts and all that stars banners and so on all right so let's say we want to draw um just any shape okay we can go for a cube okay a cube so let's um, pick our, uh, a rectangle here all right so of course now when you see this uh, when your cursor changes to like a, a plus sign it means you can start the drawing process all right so let's start drawing now i've drawn our rectangle all right so we have drawn our rectangle here all right you can resize it from the edges here okay if it's too big or too small you can resize it okay ensure you hold your shift key all right so ensure you hold your shift key while resizing so you will have a uniform shape all right ensure you hold your shift key while resizing all right so this is um the first of our rectangle all right so i think this size is okay so you can drag it here all right then you can duplicate um the shape we have already by saying copy all right so you just right click on the um just click on these lines here and then you select copy right then scroll down a bit and then go to where you want to paste and say paste okay paste all right so you can bring this other shape here remember it's a cube just a, a, any random shape we're drawing all right so all right now we have successfully drawn a, um, a double square here or a double rectangle whatever it is here all right now let's now color this shape or these shapes rather right so how do you begin the coloring process now you click you ensure that um, the shape you wish to color is active then you go to format all right you go to format here format here and then under your format you see shape fill all right you see shape outline and then you see shape effect all right now you go to shape fill all right now when you click shape fill you see what it does in colors here okay you pick any color of your choice okay red yellow green whatever whatever now if there are no options or if you don't like the um default colors we are seeing there you can also select by clicking this more 
fill colors all right so you can select from the standard or custom right but i think we just stick with any of the random colors we have here so let's stick uh, let's choose a blue i think i like this blue here all right so this is our blue okay so we certainly change the color of this blue this first um, sh um square here we've changed the color to blue all right so we we repeat the process for this second shape all right you can come and say maybe you say red all right okay you can drag it down a bit good so now you can also change the colors of the outline or your border now how do you do that you go to shape outline all right first of all let's give this um, shape a huge outline so we can increase it to let's um let's come to weight and then select okay four and a half points all right so you can see that what this rectangle has a huge outline so let's change the color of the outline to okay yellow all right so you see we have changed the color of the outline to yellow all right but if you don't want an outline you can just go to shape outline and select no outline okay all right okay so that's how you change the outline of the color you see we've given it a black shape a, a black color rather you can repeat the same for this process uh, repeat the process for this shape as well all right so you can say yellow okay okay you can increase the weight so that to be quite cons conspicuous all right so this is how you change um, the color of a shape in microsoft word all right now let me give you the bonus tip all right so for the bonus tip i'm going to show you how to change the color of a text or change the color of um, a typed document in photoshop all right okay so we're going to change um this is just a random text i typed all right so we're going to change the color of this text and also give the text a background all right so to change the color of this text of the um the text we just typed here now you ensure that you are in your home tab all right okay you can make make the um make the size bigger a bit okay so let's increase the font size let's say a 16 or 18 right okay now how do you change the color of these this text that is on our document so you go to you first of all highlight the text by clicking you you bring your cursor to the edge here and click and then drag to wherever or you just say on your keyboard you press ctrl a that's if you're using a pc ctrl a but if it's on a mac you select command a all right so you you can also say ctrl a and then you go to that ensure you are still under your home tab you go to where you have this symbol here a here it says font color so under your home tab you have okay the font and you are in the font sub menu so you have your font color here so you click here okay so as you see it has changed to red but if you want to change the color to something else let's say blue you just click this drop down um, icon beside the font icon the font color icon and then it gives you other colors here so you can change it to yellow or change it to a purple or change it to uh, maybe a, a black as well whatever color now if i want to give this text a background so that it will be very conspicuous how do i do that okay it's still under the font sub menu you highlight the part of the document you want to give a background let's say i just want to give the first line of this document a background how do you do that you highlight the document okay or highlight the part of the document you wish to give a background and then you come to under still under your font um the home tab under the font sub menu you click here all right it says highlight all right okay all right so you, you you go under the where you have the highlight option and then you choose any color you wish to highlight all right so you see that what you have given this text a blue background so let's change the color of the text so that it would be conspicuous so let's say a white okay so you have given the um document a deep blue background and the font color is white all right so let's change this other line to let's say a yellow or a green okay all right so you see let's repeat the process for this third line to um a magenta i think all right so i'm sure you had value from this video all right please give the video a like share with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos 
like this. So till I see you in my next video, take care and stay safe.